But yeah, Sanchez is one of those guys, like, you, he doesn't fight like a traditional Muay Thai fighter. And he's the best Muay Thai fighter of all time, arguably, you know? He's certainly one of them. He's He uses so many things from different different arts and, uh, you know, Taekwondo and Muay Thai and kickboxing. and Yeah, he's he got that amazing. really sneaky left leg, too, man. That yeah. left leg it's literally so comes fast, straight like, up. And it's one of the, you have no idea where it's going. It yeah. might be a, a front kick, leg kick, body kick, head kick. Like, I knew he was going to kick me. I just didn't know where the hell it was going. Yeah. Well, he's really good. Have you ever seen Lawrence Kenshin's breakdowns of uh, Muay Thai fights? Um, what is it, what is it, the name he of He does his? them on YouTube. Do you know I what think the name it's, is? I don't know. Let's see if you can I've find seen, I've seen one guy do a lot of breakdowns, and they're really well. I don't know if it's the same I, guy. I think Lawrence just does them under his name, but uh-huh. he's... Uh, He's a really, really smart guy yeah. and really, really aware of uh, of Muay Thai and really aware of the complexities. And he did a breakdown on Sanchai and one of the things Sanchai setting up high kicks yeah. and the way he he'll like sort of test you yeah. with some other kicks. And then he's got that really unusual way of throwing his kicks too, mm-hmm. where it, they literally come straight up. Yeah, there it is. But let's go back to that fight. I want to go back to that fight. I don't want you to oh, change. Oh, yeah, I've seen some of the guys. And yeah. that, that's kind of um, what we were speaking of earlier in the gym is it's just that one thing. He's kicked, but but he has so many ways and variables to set that up as mm-hmm. far as speed. And so he uses all these things to test you. And once he figures that out, you're done. And that's how he's able to destroy basically everyone at every level of the sport because he has so many answers to that one question. You beat him, didn't you? No, it was a split decision. Split Lost. decision? Kind of shit. I mean, you, look, here, here's you, world championship caliber fighter, fighting another world championship caliber fighter, both guys in their prime, and you're fighting in front of 50 people. <laughs> you know? And But yeah. it's and super... making a couple books. And it's super complex. I mean, yeah. what's going on is, you know, this exchange, the interactions. And I think one of the things about having guys like Lawrence Kenshin uh, putting out these videos and a lot of other people that have done these tremendous breakdown videos of Muay Thai is that people that are fans, I mean, even if they don't train themselves, even if they just watch it, they can see things now that yeah. maybe perhaps they wouldn't have seen before and then Definitely. appreciate what these athletes are doing. Like, there's a lot of people that watch football that can't fucking play football at all, yeah. but they can enjoy it. And mm-hmm. I think that you're seeing that in this, you know, and watching the, the oh. whoa, there's a, is that where he called a knockdown? <laughs> yeah. So, But he got right back up. I mean, why was that a knockdown? Because he got kicked in the head. <laughs> Karrion, if you want to talk, you got to talk on the mic, okay? Look, one, motherfucker, I told you you were going to be on the show. One, one why, don't you, why don't you get a goddamn chair because, and Jamie no, will pull up a, one, a microphone? No, no this is the one thing. Uh, this one thing that's lost that hasn't been discussed is because Kevin doesn't talk about it, is to this day, and how long ago was this fight? Four years ago. Four years ago. To this day, this is the only time that the WBC has ever sanctioned a diamond belt fight for a Muay Thai fight. What does that mean? What it means is that in boxing, when you have two great fighters from two different weight classes that meet at a catch weight, Mm -hmm. they make it a diamond belt fight, and they put real diamonds on the belt, and it's the epitome of the WBC title. Okay. It's the only time in the history of the sport that the WBC made a diamond belt for a Muay Thai fight. That's what a watershed moment this fight was for Muay Thai in America. 